In this video, we will talk about what the evaluation methods are in the toolkits and how to evaluate indirect and direct educational outcomes from a flipped classroom. Try out an idea or two and add more as you see fit. Checklist for teachers The checklist we design is primarily to help teachers better organize the in-class and out-of-class teaching objectives and learning outcomes and go through again the key learning tasks and related assessment to ensure the consistency, connection, and completeness in carrying out the flipped classroom. Surveys for students Teachers can design their own survey regarding various aspects of student learning that they would like to investigate. For instance, students' perceptions of flipped classroom, students' self-regulation, preferences for working in teams, or student engagement, etc. Quits or worksheets Teachers should design a quit or worksheet to assess students' knowledge of the preparation work. For example, before class attendance, students are required to complete and submit an online quiz or worksheet administered through the learning management system so that the teacher is able to know which areas students need more support and then address these problems more efficiently when they are inside of classroom. Here are the tips to create pre-class quiz or worksheets. The quiz or worksheet should mostly test lower levels of Bloom's taxonomy, such as remembering and understanding, so that students can move on to higher cognitive levels like applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating of content. The quiz or worksheet should consist of different question types like multiple choice, true or false, matching or short answer questions to fit your purpose. As an incentive for more students to complete the pre-class work, the quiz or worksheet should contribute to a small percentage of the students' total marks such as 4 to 10 percent. Teacher guidance. It is important for teachers to design when and how to use different questions at various levels to facilitate individual learning and group learning and provide them with timely feedback. This way, teachers can continuously evaluate students' learning progress and adjust the teaching strategies accordingly. Interview protocols. The interview protocol should include a list of questions related to the key aspects that a teacher wants to investigate. Focus group interview is a good idea to collect a variety of information. Flip teaching rubrics. The rubric is designed to help teachers to reflect on what they did, how they did it, and the rationales and objectives behind all this. Elements to a successful flipped classroom are explicitly stated with four divided levels, from beginning to outstanding, so that teachers are able to understand what they're expected of in planning and delivering flipped courses. Exam scores Students' academic performance can be measured by exam scores and or course grades compared with traditional instruction groups. Also, the overall pre-test and post-test scores can be compared to see if there's any change. There are other alternatives to evaluate students' learning outcomes, mini-group projects or group presentation, portfolio, reflective writing, a series of chapter tests instead of one final test. We hope you can find some good ideas for evaluating the effectiveness of your flipped classroom.